thing. Okay, so this is the last lecture by Lope. And we will speak about motives of kids, and not sure what the test is formula and the result of Yeah, okay, so uh, thank you very much. So for those who have survived this whole um, lectures, so I briefly tell you from here. So, so we have a S surface. Equal to zero if you are looking at this modular space. Um, so this pairs, so this was the pairs. Five. E equals to G. Yes, and there's some stability condition to get in the modular space. So, the work of Whitney and Barriers uh, are defined as some kind of uh, virtual count of these modular spaces. So, um, remember the, these things have, a, have an obstruction theory of expected dimension zero. So, one Integrate one over the virtual fundamental class and get the numbers in the work of written brain. And uh, in addition, however, they are not compact, uh, but they have a C star action with finite many fixed points. And not, you know, have a C star action such that uh, the fixed point loss is, com is compact. And so one formally applies the uh, localization to define what by written brain. Which were some like integral over the virtual fundamental class. And as I said, one does this by integrating the other class of the virtual French bundle over the fixed point components. And so the fixed point components are parameterized by partitions. Direct. Get some fixed point components. And then, so we have two special components. So we have N trivial partition, horizontal components. One one, this would be the good. And then the this then with what we can make becomes a sum over the contribution of the components. So, <coughs> so in particular. Um, so if we, so for instance, the result of what we can then into the over the virtual fundamental class. Um, and your here one would use the relation to it one over the product class of the virtual normal bundle.
And uh, we had seen that this is equal to minus one to the virtual dimension of the modelized space sheets. The virtual order number one line space, which is the same as the integer for the virtual space over the class in the virtual current class in the virtual dimension, which is minus one. So M was a modular space. Which um, is also singular, but it also carries an obstruction theory. Um, um, of the expected dimension. M, which was just this number. And so, uh, I think in particular that the horizontal of the Whitman event is just uh, the virtual order number. That we have seen. Now we had last time we had computed the vertical invariance. We think that generating functions for the vertical of this invariance. Formulas for the generating function in terms of modular functions. And we use for this localization on numerous views of points. So now I want to come to the computation of the horizontal which is just the order numbers. So I want to compute yeah. um, the integral over the fundamental class of the class of the virtual. So remember that uh, the obstruction theory, so rather the dual of the obstruction theory, theory that we had seen was um, Just so we have to, uh, anyway, we have here S times one last case and we have I M and we assume that E is the universal sheet. It always exists, but if it does not exist, one can still works, but it's easier to obtain this case. Then the dual of the abstraction theory is R I cross star. So this means that the tangent 
so trace Px, so tangent f sheaf e m is the trace of the x and the construct e is the trace of the x so one can go to so thus we want to compute this virtual intersection number on this modelized space on this virtual geometric chart. Um, and for this, we want to use this formula, which does precisely that. The general formula which allows you to compute basically any intersection number. Any virtual intersection number on this modelized space is terms of intersection numbers and tables and points. So, okay, this is a much easier So let's have this compute virtual intersection numbers. One last space. Multiply to the pullback of the class alpha. 
And then the claim is we can take any polynomial in these classes and put them on the formula. Modelized space, but fundamental class of the modelized space of the term. Any polynomial. Tau I alpha, where I can integer and alpha in the form. Now, this I just showed very well possible that this actually is the whole form of the one less space, but anyway, it's a And so, and so we want to compute this. And you know, in terms of section of the on S or the field space. So now we have to make sense of that. Look at the similar picture for the Hilbert group points. We basically want to write down basically given any polynomial, we have to write down the polynomial in some classes on these products of Hilbert schemes, such that uh, we get the same from the Hilbert scheme points more or less. Instead, look at the Hilbert smooth point. So we have um, <clears throat> so on here we have the product S S times S one this we have similar picture and we have uh, two things. We have universal sheaves, which we had seen before, when we had universal ideal sheaves, which we had seen when we were considering computing uh, the vertical of Wittgen banks. So again, universal family. So this would be. Set of four x c in surface and see this in, in points such that uh, the point the sub scheme structure and this universal sub scheme and then we can look at the idea sheet. Universal sub scheme, it's an idea sheet in this direction. X times SN. And then uh, for so this idea sheet. Now we can do the following. So 
for line bundle and yes we I could say that I I of L this is supposed to be now I refer to this picture but not to these things so I take in this thing the I first take the ideal sheet uh, for the sub scheme for the i of these sub schemes. So there's one sub scheme here, one sub scheme here. So um, I C and I S we tensorize it by the pull back. Yeah, yeah, right. Definitely. Yes. And uh, we push it, we put it back. Where the projection S times S and I. We just have here. This is a sheet, if you just put it, which would like when it's here. On this, we put it back to all three of them, and we tensorize it to the full bytes. Okay, and this was, yeah, the nice sheet by this. And so this is a sheet on uh, S times S in one. Oh. The fiber, so if I look my eye, and I restrict it to S corresponding to the subscript one, and this is just equal to I C I as well with S. And we also have the other things that we have, which we maybe did not have. Of the first river components are the logical sheets. So, here we have again to look at this universe subscheme, which has its projection yes. and to S and then. Just be and uh, those uh, two of us. Okay. So now as a as a sheet. Uh, so this is a vector bundle. Right and It's fiber, the point corresponding to the substance is just H0 of F. So this is and um, so in the same way as before, uh, we define O as before. Uh, we define O. One of L and O two of L uh, on S in one and specifically is the pullback of the corresponding bundle from the two factors. This is actually this O one would be O and one of L would be O and two of L. So it's good. So, with this wonderful notation, uh, we can state uh, what 
what you took from the two set. So remember that we took class in, uh, so we, we took any polynomial in such classes. And we have to replace it by something else that we want to integrate over given series of points. We we'll need a few more equations, so we're not also uh, solving all sheets. Um, e one, two, when S times E one simple for Q. Chiefs as the Euler number of actions, Euler number, Euler class of uh, minus r below star. We have the um, of the uh, basically it's a uh, Euler class of the complex of the X. I remind you that, well, maybe I first write, let me see, there's one more issue. Which is <laughs> so we already had this. So if S is a variable, so for S variable, Right, your vector bundle and R. Then we put the uh, term class of T distance by S is equal to this expression. Minus e and s to the k minus. So, what does this mean? So, what it really means is we have that s is equal to the first term class, prevent first term class of s, which is a is an equivalent bundle, so it's a trivial line bundle with a with a non trivial C star action, and S is the first term class bundle, and, uh, and then here is E of S. That's E tensor is bundle S. It is the CK E of S, is just the equivalent corresponding term class of this. So it doesn't come from the and so <clears throat> and now we write down the following for a one and a two line bundles in S. I want to write this uh, with additive. So a one plus a two means the line bundle of a one tends to write the line bundle of a two. Then we put following set. So this is P is uh, this polynomial T. Uh, of A1 and two and one and two and S to be I now write here P of this first ideal sheet Uh, A1 minus S. So this means first I1 twisted by A1 and then twisted by minus S plus I2 plus S. 
and your topoidal class. These, so here we have these ideal sheets, and we have this topological sheet. It was from the order class. E2 plus 2s. And so it's just like this. And then this is divided skew uh, I1. Yes. Plus S. Same thing. Yeah, and uh, then there's just some stupid correction factor 2s with n1 plus 2 minus 4s. And this is uh, by itself right here. This is a good term. This is, this will be some homology class. And then, if you work it out, uh, it's uh, actually the uh, Laurent series in S. Okay. So, what does this P mean? So, P just means is we do the same thing here and I work it out. So, now instead of, uh, uh, so this was, we take any polynomial from somehow I of alpha. Which was you, you know, you take the on s times n, you take uh, the universal sheet, and you, you multiply, you take the ice term class of the universal sheet, and you multiply it with the pullback of alpha from s, and then you push forward to m. And here, now, you do the same uh, with these two. So you have uh, on S times SN1 times SN2. You have uh, this sheet here. You take uh, on this thing here. Uh, two minus S. You take the ice turn class of this. You multiply it with the pullback of alpha and you push forward to the product of these. So you do precisely the same construction and you replace every instance of i, I tau i of alpha in this polynomial by the corresponding expression uh, that you get here. Okay. Alpha by corresponding maybe because sigma i alpha where m is based on one. So we have now we find this. We want to compute this thing for such a, any such polynomial. And so now 
in T of the same thing to be the integral of this thing over there with some points. S. This is the sum over all in one such and then two such and one plus two is equal to n. We take the integral over the property of the C. Okay, we have written But then what you took is formula says that this answer so here is so we have assumption we need to Assume that the whole morphic characteristic is bigger than zero in the modular state. It's not in joint classes, or if it's actually given by the one wrong, then this integral. Over this one last case, class of E. So this P is again the same. P is this polynomial. Um, is equal to the following. I take the sum. Always, how I can write C1 as a sum of two classes, C1 and C2, such that C1 times H is smaller than C2 times H. H was every class. Um, and then take the set of Wittgen band of C1 times. Coefficient of this to zero of this thing a of p one minus a one two is the n. So this is the form. Maybe I cannot say. It. I mean, this is a. Uh, as you see, it's rather complicated, but completely. Uh, Explicit, so you have this, this simple expression. So you have maybe some simple thing you want to compute here. It becomes something very complicated in, the, in terms of the universal sheets on the Hilbert schemes, but it's completely explicit, and one can compute on the Hilbert schemes of points. So uh, note that this condition is not very serious because the you know, when you if you twist. Uh, all the sheets by the same line bundle, then the invariant will not change, uh, but this condition will change. So you can, so normally this will only, if you fix R C1, so if you fix C1, uh, this will only hold up to a certain C2. But if you twist by bigger and bigger powers of an empty line bundle, uh, the C2 you can let go to infinity. So this is somehow something one has here. <clears throat> so this holds therefore always. <clears throat> and, and maybe one should see. So maybe one word the proof. I mean the, 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 the proof itself is you know is one keeping a lecture notes volume, so 300 pages, but um, the basic idea is maybe not so terrible. So one considers uh, Another modular space, modular space, I think it's such a sheet together with the section. Uh, this sheet, uh, this modular space now has again its star action. Um, the fixed point locus of this C star action is 
consists of certain parts one understands. One is something related to the liquidity and variance at Hilbert's neutral points. So some fixed point locus, lo loci look like this, and other fixed point loci, and the other fixed point locus is this model I space. And now you integrate something over the model I space. So you integrate something over this master space, uh, which of which you know it is zero. I mean, the integral will be zero. But when you compute it, you get and uh, that the fixed points, the fixed points corresponding to this will give you this, and the fixed points corresponding to the Zabergetian invariance and the given scheme of points will give you this contribution. And so, therefore, zero is equal to the difference of these, so this is equal to this. But it takes enormous effort to set it up so that it is. And the trick is somehow not new, but uh, you know, we have to. Put yourself in a position. And then how now I want to apply this to the So in this case we take P of P obviously to be the Term class like this of the virtual tensor. Now we know the virtual tension bundle as a is equal to your as a complex which binds R to lower star of R on And so we can, uh, one can compute this by, so where again, we have P from M, so we can compute this by both the given or. So the, the fiber here of the projection is S here, and the smooth piece will be put in the box no problem. And, um, so uh, if one does this, uh, this gives this thing as, as a phenomenon. Okay, so one can see what this is, and so we are, and so that's what you see the over the class. So now, um, now the thing is, in some sense, now one is done because now everything works the same way is in the vertical case. So I can just sketch uh, because we are basically uh, the thing we are integrating here looks very similar to what we were integrating in for the vertical with uh, the variance, and so uh, the methods will be precisely. Same. Actually, in fact, the other round is the first. We did the horizontal ones and then we saw how to modify this to the So let me just say a few of the So well, let's write and a generating function. So maybe I call the C prime S D1 E2. This is that's, that's good. So this is uh, this generating function. E that we have here. We just write A when the T is the one which corresponds to. <clears throat> which oil number E1 E2. Uh, 
you do. Now, what the integral of the Hilbert scheme. So, in particular, we can consider the part where n is equal to zero. So, when we look at the Hilbert scheme of zero points here, so this will be equal to the coefficient of q to the zero of this thing times something which I call the power series starting with one. And then we have the usual uh, So now we are looking at integrals of the real schemes of points. And there is, we have used several times that there is this cobordism invariant, which says that if you uh, write down uh, anything reasonable, you can express the, the expression in terms of intersection numbers on the original surface instead of on the scheme. And if you have a nice generating function, it will, uh, for such numbers, it will give you a multiplicative form where just is a product of certain several power series uh, taken to the powers of the intersection numbers on the surface. And so you can do this program here. And so then we find a power series Uh, so p one to seven, uh, which are say, all to process two, um, such that this thing is q. Equal to uh, so that's for all x surface. surface and to the carbon is we have this is equal to a one square b square four ks. So it's a standard that the power does that. I've sketched it in a special case in general. There are always more like some complications, but so it's So given this now, if we know these power series, we can compute the result of our written index. So in order to compute these power series, we only have to be able to compute this generating function here for seven examples. So, because it's um, seven examples, so that the corresponding vector of numbers are in here. So, so, in the same way, so this allows. S equal to P2 or P1 times P1. And this thing, I would accept, and S Have numbers um, so so that's just determined seven examples yes I Q linear. 
then one can reconstruct from these what these policies are, for example. Then, choose the policy that you can choose. S is equal to two. S is equal to one sixty one. A B are equivalent. What I mean is, these are toric surfaces. We have an action of uh, uh, C. Start. If you start to find fixed points, you can take line bundles on these, which are equivalent for this action, and so then one can compute uh, by localization. These products of fields. You know that the fixed point on the action of these product of fever schemes are given by partitions, by tuples of partitions. And uh, we have described the other time what the action is on these fixed groups of these ideal sheaves. And uh, uh, it's even simpler to say what the action is on these topological bundles. And so one can just write down everything. Uh, all the local contributions of the fixed of at the fixed points in terms of combinatorics of partitions. And then you know if one is smart one could do something with it, if one is not so smart one can write a program so compute and so then write and compute the same function. So here we are not quite so Consider this um, the theta function of the so we have the theta function of the AR like this. So this was a uh, um, <coughs> Q where uh, here this. The intersection form was given by this uh, AR matrix, which uh, looks like two on the diagonals. And then one on the four diagonals, like this. And now we can also look at the theta function of the dual of the AR like this. There we just replace AR by AR to the minus one for the inverse matrix. Okay. 
And then we have the following conjecture. After this, so we just want to given are given R greater than zero, it exists with the analog of the Caracas structure theorem, success P0, Eij, one for i small j small one, plus some power solution G. Um, so that's the thing. The Euler, the virtual Euler characteristic of the Euler space is um, uh, the coefficient of uh, so Q is the one over Q R and the virtual relation. Modulized space um, plus squared doesn't matter very much of the following expression. This looks very similar to what we had for the event on the difference that there was theorem. And then uh, one over the theta function q and we have theta function for the uh, minus one. So if we have a sign, maybe I continue here so this sum is here. So it's a product of i epsilon r. So this is the r infinity. Then after the finish of i times intersection number of beta, the beta is beta one, beta one, so, so r times beta one times one, so we take this intersection number times this, and then times this are bit invariant of beta. That's the power. Hold i small equal to j. So this e i j. And remember, this is precisely the same formula that we had in the Laraka structure theorem sheet on vertical bit events, only that instead of the theta of the R dual, we had theta of the R minus one, well, not the dual. Instead of this root of unity, we had this delta i times beta i plus one. So this is very similar, just this difference, and the there are these universal functions we call C0, C0 and Cij. And the relation to this is the following. This is basically a reformulation of this context of S squared. And 
sketchable instances. Remember, the SOE set is a more generic function of all the algorithm invariants. It hits nicely, and the tau goes to minus one over tau, where Q is equal by I tau. Tau from the update. So, everything says vector. And so, with the same thing, Q is equal to tau. Tau And then it says that t0 tau equals to t0 minus one over tau. So this is the corresponding thing for the for the vertical of the invariance. And in the same way, tij tau equals to tij minus one. And so it means that uh, the, the generating functions for the horizontal and the vertical work with events determine each other. And you know, these Tij's and Cij's, uh, we identified them here as modular functions. And so it makes sense to do this. And um, so we have shown this. Um, in the case uh, that the rank is two or three, in for R is the uh, four and five, uh, this gives us, this tells us, uh, this gives us predictions for these uh, power series, the IJ. This tells us, this gives us formulas. It's a formless commercial course, which is uh, there's actually a very simple way how you transform the formula for the vertical of which invariance into the horizontal one by just applying this. I mean, what this operation does. Okay, so maybe I will, uh, and I think what everything I wanted to say, so that's, uh, I hope it's, uh, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Questions? Um, okay, so you can ask questions. It's still up late. Yeah, I'm still. Uh, okay, so it doesn't seem. Okay. Um,